welcome back dear learners we are again back to the series on biochemistry vitamins and our today's topic is vitamin k in this vitamin we would be discussing about vitamin k in detail hypervitaminosis of this type of vitamin and deficiency disease caused due to vitamin k now vitamin k is the only fat soluble vitamin with a specific coenzyme function that is it function as an enzyme and associated with it that is coenzyme this is cooperation hota hai this is coenzyme it is required for the production of blood clotting factors essential for coagulation in german coagulation it starts from k hence the word k has been derived from this that is it is helping in coagulation so k for coagulation now vitamin e exists in different forms and it has three forms of it k1 k2 k3 out of which k1 is present in plants k2 is produced in the intestinal bacteria found in animals and k3 is a synthetic form it is all the three jaise k1 hai wo plants mein milega k2 intestine animals intestinal bacteria and k3 is a synthetic form Now this particular vitamin K are stable to heat. Their activity is, however, lost by oxidizing agents, irritations, strong acids, and strong alkalis. Where and how does absorption, transport, and storage occur? Vitamin K is taken in the diet, or it is synthesized by the intestinal bacteria, and being a fat-soluble vitamin, its absorption takes place along with fat. and depends on bile salts it is transported along with ldl and it is stored mainly in the liver and to a lesser extent in other tissues biochemical functions the functions of vitamin k are concerned with blood clotting process as we saw that vitamin k k for coagulation in greek hence it is concerned with blood clotting process now we also saw that it is a coenzyme so factor 2 7 9 and 10 are synthesized as an inactive precursor in the liver and vitamin k activity depends on these clotting factors and these are called as vitamin k dependent clotting factors matlab jab tak vitamin k nahi aayega tab tak ye clotting factors activate nahi honge they are inactive precursors to repeat it again factor 2 7 9 and 10 Vitamin K is also required for the carboxylation of glutamic acid, residues of osteocalcin, a calcium which binds protein present in the bones. That is, it helps and keeps our bone structure functioning normally, and helps in clotting of the blood. To have all these functions normally, there is some recommended dietary allowance daily. But since this is synthesized in the gut that is small intestine there is no specific recommended dietary allowance for this thing accordingly the suggested rda for an adult is approximately 70 to 140 micrograms per day however it is recommended that half of the body requirement is provided in the diet and the other half is met by the bacterial synthesis in the gut that's why there was no rda for vitamin k but to suggest there is 70 to 140 microgram per day required from where would we get this we would get this vitamin k from cabbages cauliflower tomatoes alfa alfa spinach and other dark green leafy vegetables you can see on the left hand corner spinach in the middle there is alfa alfa and other sources that is cabbage cauliflower tomatoes present on the other side it is also present in egg yolk milk and meat what if we do not take these in sufficient proportion so there would occur signs and symptoms which is related to or which can be concerned with the deficiency symptom but the deficiency of vitamin k is uncommon as we saw in the previous slide that there is no rda specific rda for it as half of them is consumed through the diet and half of the 
requirement is through the synthesis in the gut but you might not take sufficient amount of vitamin k in the diet so what would happen is there would occur signs and symptoms the deficiency of vitamin k is uncommon since it is present in the diet in sufficient quantity or it is adequately synthesized by the intestinal bacteria however vitamin k deficiency may occur due to its faulty absorption that is you do not have sufficient amount of amount of bile salts or loss of vitamin into feces when you suffer from diarrhea your gut cannot synthesize it and administration of antibiotics which kill the intestinal flora and intestinal bacteria are not able to synthesize vitamin k so it leads to lack of active prothrombin in the circulation there occurs bleeding disorder because blood does not coagulate factor 2 7 9 and 10 are required they are dependent on vitamin k the individual bleed profusely even for minor injuries and the blood clotting time is also increased what would happen if we consume them in excess so there would occur if you take it in large doses it would produce hemolytic anemia jaundice these all are particularly seen in infants the toxic effects is due to increased breakdown of rbcs antagonist to vitamin k we have a compound called as heparin which do not uh, or you can say which hampers the functions of vitamin k so here we complete the vitamin k i hope you have understood this video please keep watching so that you might be able to understand in detail thank you